So, um, sorry about that. We had a technical difficulty that was a human problem. <laughs> so, somebody hit a button, and uh, and, it and and they it kind of screwed things up. But anyway, it Ace. wasn't anybody, so it doesn't matter. The ghost. Of anyway, uh, thanks for showing up for the second time. Um, we truly appreciate it. And this is our episode 18 of Feast with the Beast. So we have a ton of stuff. I have notes for everything. And um, because we had our uh, last round of the Beast Chop Challenge between Todd and Chad. And this is my version of uh, those uh, that challenge. Chuck roast, peanut butter, coriander seeds, beets, and basmati rice. And I tell you what, um, I think everybody spent enough on food they could have actually bought the prize. <laughs> because I think it cost me 150 bucks for everything I need today. And uh, so anyway, so you can tell it's 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 for the fun. It's not um, just to get uh, win the prize, right? And the prize is a barrel house cooker, brand new. And um, I'm, we will tell you who won after the show okay so the what i'm making is an east african uh rice pil pilu rice pilu pil pila 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 rice <laughs> east african pila rice and then we oh, have, uh, have the same accent for every single i know we have a, du a duca roasted vegetables duca duca <laughs> and we have hot pepper street meat. So, and we're going to have all the ingredients and the recipe posted on the website. Um, hopefully this afternoon, that's the way we plan it to happen. As long as we don't run out of uh, space on one of the cameras like we sometimes do. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get started. Morning, Adam. Who's on? A uh, bunch of people, 42 people. All right, I can't cool. name them all. Can you say what you're making one more time? Oh, Lord. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> we have the East African pilaf rice, mm -hmm. the duke of vegetable, okay. the duke of roasted vegetable, <laughs> and the hot pepper street meat. Hot pepper street meat? Dude, I'm actually really excited. They sell this on the streets of Africa. Nice. So, all this the is all, meat. we're all, we're visiting Africa today. So, um, and I tell you what, I can tell just by the ingredients, it's going to be freaking awesome. It's going to be spicy, and that's what we like. We like spicy. Good morning, Russ. Um, anybody got any questions about anything before I get started? I have never made any of this, um, so I have no clue what I'm doing, which is obvious sometimes. Um, I'm going to be using the flat top, the Weber, and the pit boss today. Um, I could get away with only using one, but Good morning, Chad. Uh, to, hey, Chad. Glad you're here. Is Todd on? <laughs> I have not seen Todd. All right. Well, Todd said he's streaming it to his big screen TV, and the whole family's watching. What? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Todd needs to start making our videos. I, know. <laughs> I, think, I think so too. Uh, Todd does really good. Yeah, like that. So anyway, Ooh, well, like um, that. Huh? Like that? Oh, there we go. Man, Look, the there you go. Good job, Tom. Uh, we're on the big screen, too. Yeah, we're on the big screen, too. <laughs> we love ourselves. So, uh, <laughs> I have um, I've not even had a whole lot of time to even go over what I'm making here. Oh, I missed it. I kind of skimmed over it. I know it's good. And uh, so bear with me a little bit. And we figured out this morning that um, we don't have a can opener. <laughs> so I had to use a knife. He did. To open my can. He killed that can. No big deal. Literally. I what happened to the can opener. Yeah. Totally wasn't me. Right. Tyler broke the can opener. <laughs> I was trying to open something. It wouldn't work. I already had this problem when you were away. Yeah. So anyway. It wasn't either of these individuals. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. So. I'm just kind of looking through my notes. So look, um, I'm not going to run down all the uh, ingredients that's in here. But what I'm going to do is 
Let me bring that pan over here. Same drink. <laughs> Same so drink, different Sunday. <laughs> right. right. So look. <laughs> hey, Jay Starkey. <laughs> Starkey, how you doing, man? So look, we're going to do... See, I kind of wish I would have set this up a little bit different. <clears throat> so we're going to have... Maybe. So look, I've been uh, getting some butter ready for, uh, I've been clarifying some butter while we've been waiting. Mark, you didn't miss anything so far. Hi, oh. Okay. <laughs> so I got some clarified butter. We're going to have uh, like three tablespoons of clarified butter in here. Throw an extra one in. Everything is better with butter. Butter and bacon. We also have beer in our recipe today. I'm going to go ahead and share our live feed right now. Everybody oh. else should too. <laughs> right. So if you're watching the live feed, obviously you are, you wouldn't be here, you wouldn't even hear me say this. Please share the live feed. Like it, share it, like it, share it, share it, share it. Um, I'm going to try to remember to say that a bunch of times throughout the feed. We want to get as many people on the feed as possible. Alright, so we have... It's a curry. Curry. <laughs> curry. Alright, so we got a teaspoon of uh, cumin, right? Alright, teaspoon of cumin. We got a. Uh, Is the thing on? Yeah. A teaspoon of uh, cardamom. No oh, butter, shit. no better, like no higher, no better. All right. A teaspoon of cardamom. We have um, a teaspoon of curry. Otherwise known as curry. Curry. <laughs> curry with curry. I don't need any help. <laughs> you kind of do. <laughs> we need a cinnamon stick. Otherwise known as a cinnamon steak. <laughs> Shut up. You're going to get hurt. <laughs> um, a bay leaf. Oh, it smells like curry. It already smells good. I know, it, it already it really does. It already smells good. Um... Pepper flake. We don't have pepper flake. A medium chopped onion. Kathy, that does sound awesome. What? So Kathy's got is drinking absolute ruby red vodka, ruby red grapefruit juice, fresh lime, and triple sec. That, does that might have to be good. our new a new Sunday morning drink. Does anybody have any questions? How's everybody doing? What y'all cooking this weekend? Yeah, is everybody cooking anything? It's really pretty here. It's like 70 degrees, low I know, humidity. People in New York and the Northeast don't want to hear all that. No, I know. I know. I said here. So uh, We know it's not like that everywhere. It is beautiful out today. It is. Uh, we're going to have one of those. Um... Rick Beck is making apple pie shots. What? Apple, what's an apple pie shot? How do you do that, Rick Beck? We need that <laughs> recipe. I know, I'm working, right? All right, so look, I'm going to chop this onion up. Yeah. It seems like a lot of onion to go in this thing. Seems like it. Yeah. But it's Smash not. It's just one today. onion. Smash burgers. Yeah. Todd Carnes? Yeah. Todd, we might have something for you soon. Ooh. Bacon wrap stuffed brat boats. Starkey, what a what? <laughs> broad boots, and David Hayes brisket since 5 a.m. this morning. Nice. Mark Lewandowski brisket point corned beef burnt ends wrapped in bacon and smoked. Ooh. Mm. Y'all are killing it this Sunday. It's beautiful everywhere. I can't get the whole thing. He's making brunch, and I see stuffed peppers with. You can see it up here. Oh, I can't see. I Which can't. One? Uh, oh, look, we're doing Steve a half a half teaspoon of smoked paprika. 
peppers with eggs and sauce. Yum. Throw this in here. I don't know why they put this shit in there. Because people sprinkle. Alright. We got, uh, where's my mitts? Oh. <clears throat> Ooh, London brawl with roasted veggies. Yum. Two teaspoons of garlic. This is gonna be so good. Um. Oh, you know I have white pepper in there. Did you bring the white pepper out? I did not. You want just do black pepper? Just do black. All right, we're doing some black pepper. Cause it's for white and black, right? White or. Oh, white or. Okay. Yeah. There you go. There's your or. So I'm not gonna worry about de-seeding the jalapeno. Uh, you should. Why? Scrape out the middle, cause it's gonna make it too hot. It's never too not hot. Not for me, but for some people. We don't care about these people. Mm -hmm. Tyler, right. that would be you. We don't care about. Wait, what? <laughs> what? I, we said we don't like we don't mind it hot, and he said, I said, but some people do. He said, I don't care about those people. I said, well, that would be Tyler, then we don't care about. It. <laughs> Sorry, Tyler. Just scrape them out. You mean nothing to us? Yeah, spicy stuff. <laughs> right. Usually, I scrape these out with a regular like teaspoon, but I don't have one handy, so. But that works too. Sandwiches right. are still good. All right, so let me uh, chop this up. Aw, Jeff. What? He's having a tuna fish sandwich because he can't cook at work. <laughs> Look at tuna it. fish sandwiches are good. I, well, I like tuna fish. I do too. Oh. oh, wow. Gary Golden's making, he's smoking a chuck roast, a whole chicken, and reverse searing a beautiful two pound tomahawk ribeye. Wow. We might be going to your house. <laughs> Yeah, actually, this you see the camera just go down. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, the camera <laughs> shuts off. We gone. We gone get oh. some time. <laughs> right, so look, you look scared for me. Like why? <laughs> he did. I was about to start cussing again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so moving along, jalapeno. Uh, we got a half a cup of cashews. not what you're supposed to be doing with them. You can need a saute of vegetables and cashews. You're supposed to roast them. Well, I said something about that. No, you didn't. Well, they're already in here. So, well, they're going to work together. All right, well, then saute the cashews and then roast the other stuff you're supposed to roast. What are you talking about? Your sesame, your... All of these three things right here get roasted. Oh. Remember? Those are with these. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about the rice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind, y'all. Thank you. Never yeah. mind, y'all. I went to a different recipe. Right. My shit's right. <laughs> <laughs> Man. We've been battling recipe all morning, so God. it just got mixed up in my head. All right, so look. Just watch what's happening. <laughs> Don't listen to us. Uh, David uh, Ist Istra said, can, you, can they use liquid smoke? To cook today on their pits. No. <laughs> you cannot use liquid smoke on the pits. Rick Uzel wants to know what we're making again. We are making. We went to the continent of Africa for yeah, right. this. Yeah, right. We're in Africa today. We're doing an East African pilu rice. Sounds <laughs> like a poop. A duke of roasted <laughs> vegetable. Like a duke. And That's a like hot pepper street meat. I mean, that's a great name. They are. <laughs> well, I, can, I think we can borrow these recipes. All right. All right, so look, I did do it a little bit backwards. I was supposed to um, um, roast some of the spices and then throw in the garlic, the ginger, jalapenos, and all that. It doesn't matter. It's all going to cook. We're going to cook all that for a couple minutes. <clears throat> and then I'm going to add the tomatoes and the bell peppers and all that. So while I'm cutting up the tomatoes... The bell peppers. We'll let that roast over there. But 
Does anybody have any questions about anything? What else is our people uh, cooking today? All right, well, we got a bunch. We got a bunch. Adam, this hot pepper street meat is going to be awesome. And actually, better than the placenta. actually, I did come up with that name. Thank you. <laughs> you said better than the placenta. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> said that. Adam Duncan said hot pepper street meat sounds awesome. Better than placenta. Anything right. sounds better than placenta. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just add a little thing that has nothing to do with cooking, which was I used to work in law firms and we had a plaintiff and her, f her first name was Placenta. <laughs> I kid you not. Her first name? That was her name. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, her name. mother named her that. <laughs> Vicky Brown filet with grilled cabbage steak. Ooh, nice. Sounds good. Cabbage on the grill is really good. Yeah, it is. Anything on the grill is really good. Let's see. Adam is making deconstructed burgers with some smoked cheese, poblano, and cubanella peppers. What's a deconstructed burger? Like a deconstructed sandwich, like it's a part. Like an open face, almost. Oh, okay. <coughs> Alright. <coughs> done this and this Country and oil, <coughs> Atlanta style, Chad is. Chad, didn't you say you were making something else already? It Chad, seems... what you making? What's everything you make? I thought he said something else, but maybe. No, that was uh, Todd that was making. Uh... Tri tip. Hey, let me grab. I gotta grab the wings. Tri tip. Tri tip. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Adam said deconstructed means he has no buns. <laughs> <laughs> Right. We got the <laughs> right. Right. Look, come on over here. Oh, Lucas Harbeck is having a gourmet yogurt and some cottage cheese Yum. and some fresh pineapple. Oh, so look. look at this. With protein powder. Look, oh wait, so and he's and he's hating life right now. Look at Sorry, that. Sorry, Lucas. So that's gonna That is gonna that smells good. Alright. Does smell good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We should guys had to smell good. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. So. Nice. Alright. This is why I like African, Middle Eastern, all these dishes <laughs> are just so good. They want the and tomatoes. They're just so flavorful <laughs> and, and fragrant, and they use so many spices that Gavin we don't Gavin was out there use. with that onion that you, uh, my dog was out there sniffing and biting on the onion that he threw last week before he left. <laughs> <laughs> good thing onions don't kill dogs. Right? <laughs> what do you think they do to birds? I thought it was funny. He chewed on it for a second. I was like, <laughs> Right. He's like, I'm a dog and I don't even want this. Oh, oh Lucas lost 20 pounds, he what? said. Good job, Lucas. That's from eating that yogurt. That's what he said. He's on a diet. Yeah, okay. That's when he's hating life, but he lost 20 pounds. I think I lost it. You know what? You know when you, you should be loving life right now. Yeah, you're, you're losing you're weight. You'll be happy after a while. Yeah. Because then you'll be able to eat what you want. You right. just got to watch, like, how much of it you eat. Oh, Starkey did some more pulled pork egg rolls yesterday. He uh -oh. said he highly recommends it. We have to do it. What? Go on a diet. So, um, I mentioned this. Uh, pulled pork egg rolls? Yes. I mentioned two things last night when I did a live feed. Um, one is, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about going to uh, Nashville at uh, the end of the week. And um, I could stay an extra day if somebody in Nashville wanted to do a show at their house. <laughs> right. Is anybody in the Nashville area? Who would like to host us for next week's Feast with the Beast? We need you to step up. Now, if not, I just have to come home a day early and, and do the show. That's fine. But if I could stay an extra day in uh, Nashville, it would be freaking awesome. Then the other thing that I mentioned was my daughter is getting married in September in, in the Dalton, Scranton area of Pennsylvania. We need somebody who can throw down some barbecue for like 150 people. Somebody who's really good. Because um, I'm not doing much that day. We will be filming that. And you'll be getting like all kinds of grubby stuff. But, um, and money. If you, you, you want to cater the event is yeah, what we're saying. Right, we're looking for somebody to cater the event. 
So, uh, but it's like 150 to 170 people is what she says. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't have that many friends. So, when me and Wendy got married, I had like five people on my side. That was all family. Maybe ten. That was That's family. true. Yeah, yeah. You had more. Yeah, than so that. it was all family. It's probably ten people. And then Wendy invited like three hundred people. No. <laughs> I'm serious. Wonder how many people was it? No, it was. We had about 120 people, but I think that right. because we tried to were, well, ten the, of them were there for me. We tried to limit it to a hundred. We had like these rounds of list because we paid for a hundred at the venue. And um, so we tried to limit it. But no, but David was surprised. Actually, everybody he invited came pretty much. His brother came from my Ireland. My cousin didn't come. My cousin Alan. No, but all your brothers and sisters came. All my brothers from and sisters. From all over the, the world and the country. Came. Yep. Everybody came. Yeah. I would have yep. been there. It was really good. Ace did not show up. <laughs> I wasn't invited. Ace did not Sorry, show up. Sorry, Ace. That was like eight years ago. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. This is like, this is going to be so good. Oh. That is phenomenal. Mm. Even as. Oh, my God. Yep. All right. Chad Keller said you've got 36,000 Beast Nation friends. I know. I didn't have those friends at that time. If we get married again, we'll invite all of y'all. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to host a... We'll have to host open bar. <laughs> open bar. We had an open bar. I know you did. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> we actually got married on a steamboat and took a nighttime cruise on it with a full moon. It was really nice. The weather was perfect. And, uh... Somebody forgot to tell me I wasn't supposed to drink that much. Oh. Uh, I no, drank a whole fifth. The captain gave him tequila. the captain gave him a bottle of Patron as a wedding gift and except for my one shot, my key, my cousin's one shot out of it, I think he drank the whole thing. I drank the whole thing. The night ended interesting. We had a good time. We it was did. A, it was a great party. The best party I ever went to. <laughs> Starky it was a pay-per-view. We should have had that. For the next one, huh? Oh my no, God. but this one was. The, unfortunately, we did not hire a photographer, but we do have pictures and yeah. It was a fun time. All right, so it look. Was, it was. Um, we, we were told it was the best wedding many people have ever been to. <laughs> no, it was fun, man. It was. It was fun. Uh, it was great. We saved the check that I wrote the band. Yeah, we had to take it back because it was not. They, um, they couldn't cash it. It was unlegible. <laughs> it was illegible. 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 <laughs> and Pat said it was epic. The wedding. It was. Man. Oh yeah. Especially Pat, where he tried to cut my knife with the uh, with the cake knife. We cut cut my neck. Yeah, because we were uh, dressed up. I had a zoot suit. With that. Um, we did a 1940s kind yeah, of. Yeah, we were 1940s. So before I cut the cake, I was like. Get away, you coppers! <laughs> Something like that. I can't remember what I said. Yeah. And uh, I wish we had more pictures. As much uh, grief as what people give me for like, um, uh, right. Not using gloves <laughs> and all that kind of stuff when we cut the cake. Yeah, this was the best part. I licked the knife <laughs> and then cut the cake. And they used that same <laughs> knife to cut the cake. Up. Um, it was hilarious. Can I hit decline? Decline. Alright, we're still good, right? Alright, so anyway, <laughs> um, here, hold on, I need to make sure I get this right. So we need four cups of, uh, so we're doing four cups of coconut milk. Alright? Shake it up really, really Yeah, really see, that's well. what I didn't do before I... Before he stabbed it. <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> Very beastly way of opening. Can you just dig that out? Yeah, there right. you go. You know, instead of doing that to that other one, just add whatever it's lacking in four cups in with water. So we don't have to fight with another can. So each can is like two cups. Each can is a little less than two cups. Right, so that's good enough. No, you, you want to have enough for the rice. All right, I'll just do this. Hey, this is not bad, it's just be embarrassing if I cut my hand, that's all. Beastly. 
I did. Um, the show would not end. <laughs> this isn't your regular chopped. Right. They make you like quit when you cut your hand. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to go and get about one cup of water. No, no. don't just why don't you let I it just this. get some water? Alright, never mind. <laughs> John Sellers is the back of the day cans will hard it open. Yeah, right. This is what happens when you break your um can opener and don't have are you sure? Hey Tyler, go look at the bottle opener on the bar. I looked at it. Oh it doesn't have one. To open my tuna, okay. I think. Thing. Yeah, I don't have one. Yeah, no, I, when I opened a can without the can opener, I, I, I literally... <laughs> Rick Vex had OSHA approved opener. That's right. Oh, Barely. Yeah. All right. I don't even do... I, that... I was in that sweat. Woo! I took that scissor thing, so I just kept thinking... I've opened many, many, and many it, cans it that way. <laughs> so... At least you didn't do it with your teeth. <laughs> your mother probably would have done. All right. So... No, Daniel, that is um, his brother Eric lives in Ireland. All right, so look, I'm gonna throw this in. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pat's sending a link for a steel can opener. <laughs> I don't know what the link goes to, but it's for a can opener. <laughs> Alright, so let's stir this all up. Wow, that looks like a soup. Look, guys, I'm cooking. <laughs> I'm cooking. This is Ace's um, attempt at cooking. cooking. She's doing it. Go, Ace. <laughs> Go, Ace. Proof. Alright. Is that the last thing that you have yeah, to do? Is that the rice? Yeah. yeah. Are we supposed to use all this rice? Two cups. Just dump it and scrape it on the knife. Without the sticking. All right. Is that up high to bring it to a boil? <laughs> Kathy said, "Can we take donations to buy Dave and Wendy a new can opener?" <laughs> Start a GoFundMe. Start a GoFundMe page. <laughs> Start a GoFundMe. Thanks, right. Kathy. Turn this bad boy up. Looks like a lot wow. of juice in there. <laughs> that looks good all by itself. No, right. Just is that get soup? It, boiling. it looks like a lot of juice. <laughs> no, the rice is going to cook. Right. That's kind of what happens with rice. All right. You put all right, so twice as those... much liquid as it. rice. It's got to boil, though. Oh, right. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. All right, so. That's going to be about 20 minutes once it starts boiling. All right, so. So. Long feet. Well, we'll try to keep it. It might go. It, well, you're not to 30 minutes yet, so you're doing good. All right, cool. It might be about a 40, <laughs> mm, an hour and 15 minutes. That's 49 cents. The can opener he sent. Oh. You, by the way. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the kind I had. It's just the, bare, the old time metal one. Yeah, I yeah. tried to use it once. I was like, "What is this?" Yeah, that's the. Uh, oh no, that's the different military. Color. That's a military oh, one. Oh yeah. That's that's perfect. <laughs> All right, so we got this out the way. Damn, not anyone else. Price. <laughs> hey, Tyler, let me know when it's 18 minutes. Okay. Tyler, right. the timer. Did you, you might want to check that, make sure it doesn't start overboiling. Oh, yeah, just put it on. Yes, confirmed. All right, so look, I need to uh, get some. Um, so look at these ingredients, y'all. Yum. Dude, this has got like a ton, ton of stuff here. Oh, this is well, with street meat. Just do that's. This. Duke of Spice. The street meat has to uh, marinate, so you may want to throw that Hold on. in the marinate while you're doing the, the I'm vegetables. trying to see which ones these go together. The, that's all, those go together. The duca, the is vegetables, it? and the duca, right, spice. Yeah, one's so a recipe, the... one's the... Okay. Okay, this is the duca spice, and this is the vegetable. Yes. The beef's coming, Mark. Look, okay. it's right here. Right okay, there. so I do need to get these uh, the spices uh, roasted. So um, 
this I should do in this paint right here. Right? Yes. Yes. All right, so this we need um, sesame seed. Chaz, it's coming. It's coming. Where's the beef? Cumin. That's what. <laughs> Coriander. Where's the beef? Hazelnuts. It says good salt. That looks like good salt to me. Good salt and black pepper. Dad, yes. what would you do without me? <laughs> not get not get interrupted on the live feed. I'd be able to uh, like go on vacation. Yeah, I said go on more vacations and save myself like uh, no Rick. It's like, not roadkill. Weekly headaches. Weekly headaches. <laughs> All right. So anyways, look. I'm gonna throw this. Just keep drinking. All right. That's good enough. So we're gonna roast these. You gonna put everything in at once yeah, and get it. Yeah, throw everything in there. You take all this over here. Technically, y'all, yeah, you can roast it separately, but for the sake of time. Well, to gonna... make it easier, I'm just putting it all in together. Yeah. It's all being roasted, so who cares? Okay. What's up with the chickpeas? Where do they go? They go in the um, vegetables. Okay. All right, so. Chaz said you'd buy more grills. <laughs> I know, I'm almost out of space, but I'm sure I'll get rid of something someday. All right, so we need uh, two tablespoons of cumin and coriander. Seeds. You're right, they're coriander seeds. So. Okay, so. And then we're doing a half a cup of, ha uh, of almonds. And we're doing a, a half a cup of sesame seeds, what? You didn't put the cumin in yet. Oh, right. So y'all know once this starts roasting, if this the <coughs> smells that are gonna come out of here are gonna be in place mm -hmm. That smells mm -hmm. good already too. It's already. It's already. So you need a half a cup of these. That's Dude. what it says. Said it, it's true. I'm going to check on the uh, all right. So we got a half a cup, there's no a whole bottle. <laughs> that's really what they meant to say. Well, did you read how much? Yeah, 2.4 ounces. That's about right. That was a funny little clip. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, if you'd have just looked at the how many ounces yeah, it was. Down. I don't have time for that. All right, so we're going to roast Fine, this. Phil. And get this roasted. Is that rice on high? Yes. Tyler. She's I'm over there hungry. getting drunk on water. You can see her. She's got her own little glass and a bunch of water bottles. No, Marianne, yeah, smell of vision would be an awesome thing. One day, guys, we're getting closer. Right. That kind of technologies. Well, actually, closer than what you think. We were having this conversation the other day, right? Yeah, so uh, within the next 10 years, we're actually going to be able to communicate through the cloud. Just thinking. That's not bullshit. I either. don't want to. I don't, I don't think want I want to do live that. like that. What if you think the wrong that? thing? What if you think something you don't want them to know? I think a bunch of crazy stuff. I, I don't know. Want I mean, how, do, how, how is that, thoughts, right, how's that keeping your thoughts well, see, to yourself? The thing of it is, is like, do I have to think David and then think the thought at you? I'll know if you're thinking of somebody else. You say at David, <laughs> at David's thoughts, <laughs> from at Wendy's thoughts. <laughs> right. <laughs> to David from Wendy. Start at rice! <laughs> to David, I'm feeling too sick to come into work today. Oh, uh, Mark Carbon said, yay, his mom's watching the feed. Who? Mark Carbon. Carbon. Awesome. We all love right. a family affair. This is all underway. It's all see. underway. All right, let's get these vegetables going. Somebody might want to keep an eye on the skillet. Hey, Tyler. You want to keep an eye Sweet on the potato. roasting um, seeds and nuts? We got 
got a sweet potato and we got um, our beets. Brussels sprouts. Okay, let me go and get the chopping and stuff. So. Aren't you thankful that I peeled it? <laughs> you should see me using my dull knife. Audience, aren't y'all thankful I peeled it ahead of time? It's a real fun thing. So what else we got cooking today? Ace, can you go stir and make sure those um, no, nuts and stuff are burnt out of roast? I mean, the, night, the nuts and the spices. Yeah, let's take a turn Second. Rick Beck said, cut that tater with a can lid. <laughs> <laughs> no, Benjamin Hall answers no, we did not grow any of this stuff. Although one day I would like to have a garden. I would love to have a garden. Yeah. That means I can just go outside and eat and then eat. Yeah. I don't have to. <laughs> I can just eat. I'm thinking I would like an I herb garden. Oh, you know what? Did I cut these up too soon? Are these going no, those, the that should be good. No. Those are going into okay. the vegetables. That's okay. not, you're not to the right, meat cool. yet. All right, good. So, yeah, that's about right. They all need to be about that size, every vegetable you cut. I thought I screwed, I thought I screwed up. How many people are on the live feed? Yes, Michael, yeah. that is the pit boss okay. pellet cooker good in the night. background. Did everybody share? Oh. Thanks, John. If you're on here, <laughs> obviously you are if you've seen this. I keep saying that. Um, like and share the feed. Share it with your friends. Share it if you're... Share it to other groups, right? John Salazar said, behind every girl beast is your significant other that always helps. Thank you, John. David would not always <laughs> thank you for that comment. But here I am, not help. Last. That is a sweet potato. <laughs> sweet potato, uh, beets. So, if anybody makes this recipe and you use the red beets, when you get to the part where you drizzle it in olive oil, separate them like we're going to do, I think. Um, do you have your bowls out? Because the red will bleed into the other um, uh, vegetables. Tyler, go give me uh, some while, bowls. While they're setting. Like, um, like, yeah, a small one and a, and a big one. All kinds of bowls. Almost done. The glass bowls would be best if you can find them. Oh, wow. Yeah, grab the glass bowls. Kathy said she lives in an apartment. She has a patio garden. Tomatoes, cabbage, onions, garlic, herbs, and potatoes. Left-hand side. Did you hear that? On her patio. Kathy, tomatoes, cabbage, onions, garlic, herbs, and potatoes. All nice. grown in pots on her, on her patio in an apartment. Right. So we have no excuse. All right. <laughs> that's what that's what she's really trying really? to say. Kathy in Canada. Kathy, where do you live at? I want an herb garden. Different Canada. Oh, yeah, we got okay. Adam, same thing. Vodka and um, red grapefruit juice. But Kathy did. Give us a nice recipe that's very close, but she has some added things. Um, I think we're going to try that next week. She lives in <laughs> Carrollton, Georgia. Close, Dave. Okay, sorry. Canada, Carrollton, Georgia. They both start with C and A. <laughs> yes. It's a... Uh, Vodka and cranberry, let's see. Aww. Uh, man, I would not feel bad about the deer eating my stuff. That would make me happy. Actually, you should try to make like a little deer garden. It's boiling the whole time, right? No, dude, it's, it's got a simmer, so once it yeah. starts boiling, just turn it down. Alright. Alright. Ha! John, <laughs> Starkey said, herb gardens are legal in Denver. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> I'm moving to Denver. All of a sudden, y'all need to see our show. Here we are in Denver. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but Snoop Dogg. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Snoop. Our special guest. <laughs> Hmm? He'll be making brownies. <laughs> On the 18 minutes. Oh, okay. We'll have Snoop as a special guest to make us some brownies yeah. on the grill. <laughs> now this is a whole new there's, a lot, there's a lot of y'all in Georgia. This is a whole different show. Chad, Todd, Kathy. Is anybody, is anybody in Nashville or thereabouts that wants to host us for our live feed? Feast with the Beast next Sunday. Where y'all going? We are trying to sneak out. They're going to do a photo shoot somewhere. <laughs> like a big trying to sneak past. Yeah, All right. Ah, you're welcome, Scott. Scott got his shirt. He said, You guys rock. I know it took forever, right? Sorry, Scott. I was supposed to ship it out myself, and I just kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, and then that's what happens. <clears throat> Oh, were you just escorting her from the house? You know, I need another skillet. New line. Or actually, baked bees. Let me uh, <laughs> let me drop back to the uh, spice because that needs to cool down. Right? How's that let coming? Let's, this. let's go check it out, y'all. Yeah, that needs to get turned on. You're not supposed to keep stirring it either. Oh. It's gonna. It's been sticking. You got it turned down to a yeah. simmer. Yeah. Ooh, that looks like really good. Oh man, I just smoking. Yeah. Okay. Jack Gilmore wants to know how he gets a shirt. Every once in a while, we go on this mad spree where we just give things away live. And uh, what is that? or you can order it online, or be on here one day when we're on our mad spree. Our mad spree. Yeah, is it roasted enough? I don't think so. No, they need to kind of be golden, but yeah, put them there yeah. and let them finish up real quick. We have to make quick. a petition, guys. Okay. I don't, I need a sweatshirt. What is that? Oh, get out of here. I got a golf on me, Kate. Look, look what I'm working with. I got like, <laughs> just, everybody's like on top of me. I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> Rick Beck wants to know, does a grill have a simmer setting? No. <laughs> it doesn't. That's why I got But these things do. I mean, a flat top now. does that, right? So right. that's why I'm taking the lid what off. What if you this, tell us so simmer down now? Yeah, so it simmers down a little bit rather than. If you say simmer down now, will it simmer? I want to eat it. Tyler, you keeping track of time? Yeah. Dude, that smells awesome. It does. That's that coconut milk. Oh, mm. that really is that on low? All the spices. Yeah. So what I just did, I just took the lid off because it was trapping all the heat. Right. And so I'm letting the heat escape. That smells good. Gotcha. But I have this all the way down low in the sin. That's why I just threw that. That's how my cousin cooks his high. rice. Keep right. that off. Can you keep the lid off so I can take some pictures of the progress? Yeah, yeah, I'm Thank doing, you. yep. You can go. You're good to go. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do, we need to get those spices off and then yes, cool Yes, Chaz, indirect heat. Because uh, they need time to cool down before we uh, blend them up. So that's why I'm, uh, I'm hoping they finish soon. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Well, did you... Okay, so. Well, but you still need to cook your vegetables, so those can be cool while yeah. you're doing that. Those go, that goes on last. Right, yes, um, Benjamin Hall does have curry powder in it. So we're throwing our beets in a separate bowl. The curry powder is in the rice. Drizzle with olive oil. Marion Ronaldo said that Snoop cooks with Martha Stewart. She yeah, loves it. Yeah. He's, they ever, it uh, several people said they think Snoop would get on our show. I think wasn't that a uh, one-time thing? No. Oh, they do it consistently. Ben, we'll have the yeah. ingredients, uh, the full ingredients, on at the on our blog post, on our uh, business page. But yeah, it has it does have curry powder in this, and you, if you love curry, you will love this dish. I feel like I'm missing a vegetable here. Um. Um. Pe oh, pepper. Where's your peppers? And your Brussels sprites. Oh, no. The peppers go for the thing. Brussels sprites. That's what goes in there. Two more minutes. 
So the Brussels sprouts, you just cut the stem off and then cut them in half. Uh, you know, not the stem, but uh, that, the woody sprout. Right, the sprout. Uh, what else we got cooking today? What I want to know is because our, our weather is so perfect, sorry. I want to know what your weather is like, it's where y'all at. Yeah, we only get it a couple of times. Right, it's been really, really hot here for February, and we just got a cool front and then one coming through again to make it a little bit even cooler. So I'm wondering what everybody else's weather is. Ours is like 70 you know degrees, blue skies. Louisiana weather, it can be raining, sunny. Do we have anybody and hot at the north? Same time. It's Anybody from up in the northeast that's getting slammed. Down. Anybody from England that's getting slammed with that bad weather. weather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go again. Oh, Lord. The UK the is also specific. having some serious weather issues right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Didn't they like have like lots of flights canceled up north? Where does chickpeas used at? At the end. Okay. At the end of what? When after you grow your vegetables, you dump them on top. Oh, okay. 27 in Detroit, Lincoln Park. 40s in Ohio. All right. Not nice Fred, yeah, you're right. in Florida. We know you have nice weather. Russell Sprouts. Chad, uh, nice. 60s and sunny in Georgia. That's good weather. <laughs> Josiah said it's regular class. Yeah, uh, check the on, rice. Man. She's tell telling you about the rice. Wow, Utah got four inches of snow. Fifty and sunny in central Illinois. Seventy in clear skies in South Haven, Mississippi. Forty-five in Virginia. <laughs> Curry pork going in a smoker tonight, Ben Hosek. The rice is not done. All right, just like keep cooking. Ben, I love curry too. That is one of my we favorite might have things. To add more so milk to that because it's going to dry out before it's going to be ready. No, it's not. Oh yeah, Dad, too. Watch out, Tyler. You're right in my way. That's my job. I'm pouring the rest of this in. Okay, it's not going to dry out though. You're going to make it too mushy. Don't. Telling you you know what? You know once rice sits, it does. I know. Okay. If we get, if this is um, a pilad mush, that is David's fault. In the end. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be fine, people. Denver, 52 and sunny. Trash. All right. Olive oil. So see, we're doing the beets separately than the other ones so that they don't bleed into the other. Uh, you add olive oil to it, too. Yeah. Where's my salt and pepper? Did you put olive oil in the beets? Yes. John says, I said, Casey's making chicken soup. He's thinking about making a run to Hooters for takeout. <laughs> sure, takeout. <laughs> Stargy said he wonders, he wonders what the high in Denver is. <laughs> you on a roll today, Stargy? <laughs> yeah, and actually, Timothy, you can add for this recipe, you can add water, chicken broth, or um, coconut milk. We opted for the coconut milk just because of the flavor. Um, like but you can add broth or water to it. I feel like broth would make it be more flavorful. Have you ever had coconut milk? Mm -hmm. Mom has it a lot. Yeah. No, have you ever had it cooked like in a curry? You have, but you don't remember. Oh, I don't think I've ever had curry. When you were younger. A little baby. I'll tell All you right. a toddler. So here we go. <laughs> 
This is gonna sit for a bit. And then we're gonna roast it. We're gonna scale it, we got a skillet on here, ready to go. How are these, um, what, oh, I'm gonna check, okay. How are these coming? Do you have them on a high enough feet? Yeah, they, they get go. There you go, dude. Yeah, you can smell them now. When the sesame seeds start getting golden. Yeah, they're ready. starting to. Yeah. rice ain't even close. The rice will be fine. You've got lots to do for the rice to keep cooking. Right. So, Benjamin Hall said his powdered eggs look pitiful compared to that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't add liquid smoke to your powdered What's eggs. Ginger supposed to be Probably the rice. Ah, Scotland, freezing and snowing. James Swank is in Scotland. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Did you see Stargate's comment to you, Tyler? No. He thinks your like button is stuck. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go now. There's like a lot of stuff in this thing, I know, thing, man. I told you. This thing's crazy. <laughs> He said your like button is stuck. It means you're liking everything. Oh, Taylor. He said Taylor. She's everybody's biggest I'm sorry, I thought it said Tyler. I, no, I am. I'm liking everybody. All right. Everything. You should. That's All good. Right, so anyway. Good life. Um, when you like everything. Almost everything. Y'all, we might go a little bit over an hour, but hang in there because it's going to be worth it. And we're going to announce the winner of the final round of our Girl Beast Top Challenge. Can I announce it? Mm, it's up to your dad. <coughs> Which, incidentally, we like doing it so much, we are going to do it again in another month or two. ingredient that I think was forgotten. I think that was for the rice. So, whatever. It smells You awesome. can still throw it in there. Uh, no. <clears throat> it's, it's not going to have time to really cook it. No, right. You didn't saute yeah. it. So. Yeah. So, uh, no anyway, y'all, ginger. Ginger can make all the difference, but we won't know that today, will we? I used to know a girl named Ginger. <laughs> I love ginger. I've never had ginger. Ginger we have all had a comment to make about ginger. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, in 10 seconds, everybody made a ginger comment. Ginger Warrington. <laughs> ginger Spice. Was that spice her girls. stage name or her real name? <laughs> that was her real name. Ginger Spice from the Spice Girls was right. my favorite. She was that old, the old one who said she was young. Remember? I like Scary Spice. <laughs> all right, here, let me skim this no. real quick. Oh, you know what? You got to cut that meat up. Yeah, that's that. The vegetables. Oh, Ginger from Gilligan's Island. That's right. We didn't think about her. I don't see where you put the... Uh, what? The chickpeas in. At the end. What, in there? Once they're done roasting, yeah. you put them in and then you mix your spice. Oh, the, the Duca spice. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. <clears throat> I don't see it in there. Don't worry about it. Okay, so we have a Look, chuck roast. Hey, David, the last thing. They're called garbanzos. Oh. <laughs> Otherwise, there's chickpeas. Okay. I love like, garbanzo what? beans. All right. Here comes the meat. Comes what everyone's meat. been waiting for. All right. I've just like been drinking water and I feel so empty. Like, can we just like hurry up the All right. We're trying. So here we go. Here we go now. 
So when you veggie, no, you're chalk. Done. It already, it already has like the fat. You see that silver skin? You want to get that? Chad said, "Finally, some meat." <laughs> that's what she said. David, <laughs> David gave a look and did one of his. That's what she said jokes. Right. But you didn't get the look that went with it. <laughs> right. That's fine. Daniel, my All right. So when the chuck roast, when you're cutting it up. We're putting it on uh, skewers, so I'm cutting it where it naturally separates. Rick Beck wants you to pronounce Gabonzo. 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 I thought it was Garbonzo. It is Gabonzo. Gabonzo. Also known as chickpeas, Tyler. It's also chickpeas. Same thing. <laughs> Here's a good thing we can do while you're cutting meat. Does anybody want David to pronounce anything in particular? <laughs> Just for fun. Water. <laughs> we know that one. Tyler said water. Uh, suey sauce. <laughs> suey sauce. Suey sauce. <laughs> All right, now. Okay, we I didn't know they were talking about you, Dave. I was just going along with whatever they were <laughs> No, I said here's for fun while he's cutting meat. Does anybody want David to pronounce anything? <laughs> All right. Oil. I got one. <laughs> Somebody said oil. Mark Carbon wants you to pronounce oil. Pat wants you to pronounce water. I said washer and dryer. Chad oil. says oil. Washer and dryer. Aluminum. <laughs> Starkey, Starkey said Californication. Californication. Chad said boil. Bull. Vicky wants oil. Bull. Lots of people want oil. Bull, oil, <laughs> washer, dryer, no, washer. washer, water, washer, <laughs> water, <laughs> wash, Worcestershire sauce. Pronounce that. Nobody can pronounce that. Yeah, Worcestershire. I just did it. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody has their right no, way that's to say it. That's the right one. It's Worcestershire. But here's the here's the best one for David. David, pronounce Copernicus. <laughs> Actually, I, I learned how to say that one. I used to say Copernicus. <laughs> that was Wait, always fun. What about fun. aluminum? <laughs> Soil. Soul. Soul. That's hey, here's from one. Copernicus. I got one for y'all. Shower. Shower. <laughs> Wait, Rick Beck says Hour. liquid smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I would never live that down. No, no. I can't wait till I can use it again. You need a t-shirt that says, I'll have... never live down the liquid smoke. <laughs> right. I'm dying to hear all these colors of one. So as I'm cutting all this up, I'm trying to cut out a lot of the silver skin. Lol. Um, because the silver skin will Cooper block Nikas, any. Cooper that's funny. Steve said, go ahead. There we go. All right. <clears throat> making food. Check that stuff. Oh, yeah. Hey, come here, Tyler. Come with me and check this. Come here. I'll tell you what to do. Get over there. Start us. Start us nuts and spices. Just start with that. Yep. This? Yep. Just kind of flip them around. Those are, those are getting along good, David. Those are about ready. The spices are? Yeah. Maybe another couple minutes, but they're pretty much... Alright. Let them... Here. Uh, nope, leave the water. I mean, leave the that go. Yep, that's going good. Is there a way to turn that down? Yeah. Turn it down just to here. But I just gotta find out. Never mind, don't worry about it. I think it's going good. I think it's at the lowest. That's the rice, y'all. Mmm. That rice smells awesome. Yes, it smells like curry. Mm hmm. That I've never had. I'm just assuming. Ah, Starkey, supercalifragilistic expialidocious. Supercalifragilistic expialidocious. I can't say it. Super I don't think there you go. You don't know it's that, just right? Just turned into a singing I show. Have I know. It's like halfway through the live. Oops, oh, sorry, I'm trying to go over your head. It's like halfway through the live feed, we get to like. The, the wrong it turns side into of YouTube. a musical. The wrong side of YouTube, you know, when you've gone too far. Oh my God. No, actually, oh, Rick Beck, that that's not a short, yeah, short grubby spatula, things. but that would be a good spatula no, actually, size. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we are actually coming out with another spatula that's uh, for smaller stuff like that, and it works better on for like eggs and you know, because the beast 
the beast shovel doesn't flip eggs very good, right? Um, so we got another spatula coming out. Um, we're coming out with like eight products, I think, this year. Really? So we were a little slack on it last year, but this year we we're rocking it out. Yeah, there's a bunch of things coming out in the next few yeah. months. Can we make it um, nine? It, it probably is nine. For like a sweatshirt? <coughs> Please? Alright, <coughs> we're almost done. Rick Beck wants to know if it's going to be thin steel. Yes. Yes. Because it needs to be somewhat flexible for so for like eggs and you know things that you do on the flat top. Woohoo! Chaz says. And I ordered <laughs> like everybody's like spatulas, and um, oh, so I can see what I like about them, what I don't, and um, and I already know you know with the eggs and stuff like that, you need a uh, um a flexible spatula. All right, so we got a couple of good suggestions. Kevin Opie Broadley said a travel bag for all his gear. Todd yeah, Kern, that's how about like some black towels with grill beasts on them? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Hey, get them to the hotel. That's a great idea. Um, Starkey said it would be nice to have accessories for the Blackstone, like a bacon press, spatula, etc. Yes, yeah, so we are working on a meat press. Yeah. We're working on a smaller spatula. <clears throat> We hey have, Jennifer Bates, there she is. We have a beer can chicken with a tray, and this thing weighs two pounds. That's how heavy duty it is. So um, I have my first sample from can the factory showing up in the next few the days. Off the heat. Huh? I'm asking Ace to take the seeds off the heat. Oh, Tom Valrich said, "How about a, a can opener?" <laughs> it's too hot. Nope, me. you do need beast yeah, armor. Yeah, so. Uh, so Rick wants to know if it's gonna be solid or slotted. The um, the beer can ch chicken. No, um, is that the beer can chicken or the um, or the spatula that you're asking about, Rick, being solid or slotted? Just move it over. No, take it off. Yeah, take it totally off. Yeah, just, yeah put it right. Um, there you go. Actually. Hey, come here. Without singing, can you hold this right now? Okay, I'm almost done cutting meat. Just hold it. Watch it down. Don't be all shaky and stuff. I'll be right back. Where are you going? <laughs> How do they do this? All right. Now we don't have everybody don't talking. Don't move a muscle. All right. Come on, Ace. Talk. Oh, um, <clears throat> I just used the beast armor, and I felt very protected. You don't need to film me talking. Yes, I do. Film him doing what he's doing. <laughs> That's what people want to look at, not me. All right. We are almost. The final almost countdown. Done. Uh, how are we doing on the roast? Does not cube sure? up very. No. Very good. Actually, I'm going to save this and do something different with this. What's your next step? It's a good question. What is the next step? <laughs> So I need to cut up some onions. Change my gloves. The beast and his natural. So actually, I need to. Uh, <clears throat> I need to dump. You need these. to dump. I need to dump these. And Can you grab me a um, just a plate? Plate. Grab a plate, please. Plate. Plate. Because these Four. have to cool off before I can do the next Ice. step. And they're not going to cool off sitting in a hot stove. So. Don't wow, really that smells good. good. I know. I should put these in the fridge. No, don't cool quick. There's nuts ain't going to cool quick. They only need like the vegetables are going to be 20 minutes. So all you got to do is grind them. They can cool for 15 minutes before you need them. But that smells really good. It does smell really good. Alright. Okay. Hey, Dad. I can't believe how much stuff there is here. Knife set? Benjamin Hall said you're unsafe walking around with that knife. I know. Yeah, uh, what my about father would kick my ass right now. Yeah. <laughs> what about a knife set? But he wasn't running with it. So that, that helped it. a little bit. I'm hustling around. He's hustling with it. But no, my dad would 
certainly kick my ass for walking around like that. All right, where's more onions? All right. How do you cut onions without frying? All right, so we got bell peppers, bell peppers, um, onions. You know, I never use this stuff, but it called for it in the um, in the recipe, but it's seasoned salt. And then we got ground black pepper. We have uh, cooking oil. Oil. Oh, he said oil. oil. Uh, where's the peanut butter? Right there. Some Jiffy. Jeff. <laughs> so we did notice that both right. Todd and Chad had the exact same brand of peanut butter, and it's a brand I'd never heard of. In their final round right. videos. So, a bottle of beer. And that's that is from the Covington Brewery. It's oh, a Pilsner. Yeah. No and uh, some skewers. So let's cut some shit off. So this is all going on skewers, y'all. Right, so I need to be careful not to cut this shit too small. I thought we had some uh, jalapenos going in. Yeah. Yeah, there's some. I didn't see it here. Though. There's a jalapeno. No, that goes on the meat. You gotta. Oh, that meat's supposed to be marinating. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Why don't you throw it in there to marinate while you are. Hold on. It's in the marinade thing. <clears throat> in the rubs. Oh, okay, right. So why don't you throw it in the bowl to marinate while you cut uh, it? I need another. Actually, I can use the same bowl. Well, yeah, you can. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Kroger Store brand peanut butter, Todd Kern says. Todd Kern, I knew that was a store peanut butter, and I didn't know, but we have Kroger's, but very, not really. Rouse's is our big one. But it was just funny that y'all both had the same peanut butter. All right, so look, I'm gonna throw some season salt on here. Oh, and both said um, shirts and accessories for the kids. They're training their young son. They'd like some. Actually, you stuff. know what? Last last year we did do a bunch of uh, kid sizes, and we we got them. They were shit. And I tossed them away. Right, yeah, they weren't good they were, quality, they were but and I couldn't get my money back from the company, and so I just tossed them. And but uh, we will be coming back. And also, for women, the women's style T-shirts eventually. Sweatshirts. Uh, Rick, Todd, and Kern. I mean, Todd and Chad do not know who the winner is yet. Todd Kern. Nobody and knows. Chad Keller. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I know. I know. I know, but nobody else knows. We'll let and them. I don't want to we'll, say anything because I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Give we'll let them know. We'll let them know after we get this all this food all right, going good. Um, we'll mix up salt. the. Uh, and then see this. Add a little bit more salt. And then. Uh, Chad, for this round, we actually asked a couple of um, friends to be to judge, so we would be out of it. So we had a couple of neutral parties. We were not involved. Well, and, we were, uh, but we weren't. We were, but we weren't. We didn't do the final judging. No, right. We no, right. We didn't do the final judging. Any more ice? We were gonna get. Um, Give me um. In the refrigerator. We were gonna get uh, um, oh, Gav yes. Gavin, Joe. Yeah. To do it, but he got married yesterday, so he was a little busy. He was just a little bit busy. Yeah. So um, Ben, I was going to be the sous chef. He re he refused to let me cut up everything ahead of time. So no sous chef here. No sous chef happening here. Sushi. Sous chef. <laughs> Sushi. <laughs> Hold on, I'm checking the rice. Yeah. How are we looking? It's coming. You might want to start and then turn it off and let it sit. Yeah, I would turn it off and take it off the heat. Take it off. Gotcha. I'm going to get it right here. Alright, what's that towel? Well, it's not ready. I'll taste it. I'm going to take that over there. Alright, put the top on. That looks freaking good. Mm. Alright. Alright. Don't judge me. <laughs> Benjamin Hall says he runs his wife out on prep. 
He runs her off. Very weak. <laughs> yeah, add a little bit of, yeah, don't bring mine out until it's right. <laughs> I did. Tyler. Yeah, well. Get out. <laughs> is it good? Yeah. Good? Is it is the rice done? Mm -hmm. It's done. It's just gonna be a little Freaking bit. Awesome. It's just gotta sit, yeah. She's like the queen of rice. So and it smells freaking outrageous. Yes. Alright, so let me peel this stuff. Sorry, y'all. We're going to be taking them by an hour and a half of your time or close to it. But as long as you have time to stick with us. Right. We love doing it. hundred people yeah. are watching. Not, not anymore. People watch. We got 101 <laughs> for like a second. Say that chin back. There's 97. Oh, you know what? Check those vegetables. Your turn. Thank you. Taste that that looks perfect. Oh, man, it looks awesome. good. Come yeah, on. Look at these. Look at these. I grew up in the Eastern Shore of Maryland. You grew up on the Eastern Shore of Maryland, but... I've been in Louisiana like 15, I'm a fifth generation New years. Orleanian. Right, she's, a, she's an old one. I'm an old one. <laughs> it's so many I'm ways. I'm born and raised. So many ways. So high. <laughs> so, uh... There you go. All right. All right, so up. what's next? Now we're Tap ready to chop some stuff. I'll be done doing this. this so this is, um... That's going to be quick. That's going on the skewers, right? Yeah, so... Actually. Vanessa, the, uh, Vanessa wants to know if we did a test run on the new camera system. Oh <laughs> uh, no, no. Um, kind of got away from us. Yeah, so I was gonna do that last night, and um, it just didn't work out. So we're gonna do that this week. It's really cool. If it works out, we'll be able to set up one camera here. Just gotta get everything. A camera right here. A camera so Wendy can walk around. Pat is going to be running like the control room and um, he'll be able to flash his face on there, talk. Um, if we want to invite somebody in, we can do that. Um, we'll be able to run messages across, um, emojis. Other videos. While we can run other videos while we're doing our live feed. Show off some people in the, uh, Dude, in the group, you know, doing their stuff. No, man, it's really whatever. cool. Yeah, if we had so, it set up today, for instance, we could have announced the winner and shown the video. We can video, even do like a picture of the week can't. of somebody's we like, gotten you know, food of the week yep. or whatever. We yeah. can flash like, you know, somebody's like Tons and tons of stuff we can do. Yeah. So, um... It's gonna be dope. <laughs> it would be epic. It would be dope, <laughs> be epic. Dope like Denver. <laughs> I'm just going with Starkey. <laughs> I think Starkey was gonna come up with a comment, so I beat oh, him too. Oh, came up with a name for, um... Oh, cool. Not for that. Oh, not for that. You're doing interviews and stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. That thing. Is it the uh, Google? Nope, the app. So we're about to start doing some more interviews now that I'm back in town. Back in town. That's a lot of onions. Smoked really gator. Interview me. Smoked bear? Gator. Oh, gator? Who's doing that? Um, so Rick, are you doing smoked gator or are you suggesting smoked gator? I'm going to, I'm assuming you're suggesting it. Yes, Pat. Pat's right. Pat said we'll almost be professionals. <laughs> <laughs> almost. I wouldn't almost. go too far. I wouldn't go too far. Now you're talking crazy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Starkey's quoting Chief and Chong. <laughs> Up in smoke. I remember that movie, man. Yeah, I remember when that, that came out. That was hilarious. The David Nader. So John Salazar said, "Oh uh, yeah, Rick. Rick suggests we do smoked gator. 
on one of our shows. Actually, yeah, we want to do a whole gator. Yeah, right. Throw a whole gator, a little baby gator right here. Oh. Yes. No. I will not be How here for that. How big of a gator you want to do? I'm not killing a How baby. How big do you think you can fit on there? Gator? Well, that's not what you do. Something like that. You don't smoke We can do baby. like a little baby pig, too. What? Oh, yeah. So, Starkey also said maybe invite one of the gator hunters from Louisiana to come on and then cook a gator. That's a good idea. Yeah. We'll probably have to go to them. Why no, Pat Johnson, we're not Pat. killing the baby gator. Taylor, can you write that in, in the thing, same thing that you wrote? No. I will not be a part of it. Fun baby. I mean, come on. Small. We need gator hunters. It's not going to be a part of that. I'll, I'll be a part of massacring these vegetables right here. I separate my food feelings from work food feelings. So Marianne said they got some gators at the river house in, is that Miyaka River? She said they can get you one seriously if you want one. Where's that at? We got a gator hey, where's, dealer. Where's Miyaka River, Marianne? Gator dealer. I have to make you a friend. She also has pigs. I'm adding you as a friend. <laughs> On next, in a couple of weeks, Chaz. we're going to um, Hogs with the Calls. Our buddy um, Mike Santola has a crew out there, and it's called, oh man. That's next weekend? No, it's the weekend after next, I think. Okay. I'm trying to think of it. Rugula? No, not Rugula. Marion's in Florida. What's the name of the beast, the uh, French way you say it? Rougarou? Rougarou. Yeah. I think that's the name of his uh, It is. Yeah, that's the name of his, his crew. So we're donating a bunch of stuff that they can auction off. It's all fundraising. Nobody actually wins any money. I don't think. They do to get no. back. Yeah, no, it goes to um, pediatric brain cancer charity. Right. <clears throat> so this dude, his I think his daughter had brain cancer. And I mean I can't remember what, what happened, but he started this this thing I think probably less than ten years ago. And um, it's pretty outrageous. Kathy, I can do a really good gumbo. She can. She can also do really good red beans and rice. Wendy is Wendy is like, uh, Rooney rocks it out on um, chicken and dumplings, uh, red beans and rice. Chicken noodle soup. Gumbo. <laughs> um, dirty rice. Chili. Chili? I know the secret. I know. I know Only because I told you. I know Only the secret to our dirty rice. Um, the rest of it I don't care about. <laughs> Except when he's eating it. Unless, I'm, unless I need some, you know, I just ask him to make it. The biggest ingredient, y'all, the most important is love. You gotta cook it with love. If you don't that have love. That is not. So when I cook stuff, it's it's so I, like I cook everything with love. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay, chop peppers. Let's save for twenty minutes. But I eat it afterwards. Starkey wants to know if you'll cook some iguana. Oh, hold on. <laughs> when he's concentrating. Why don't you cook? It's a bad lizard week here at the uh, it, it is? headquarters. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Riley bought, good. we got a crusted gecko for it Riley. Hey. And, um. So I'm doing a, um. I'm cutting up a jalapeno pepper. I gotta put that meat. And it died. Jalapeno pepper. <laughs> died. Kathy, I would love to do a gumbo show. The only problem with a gumbo is it takes hours to to cook. And, like, too. don't make it live. Just, like, cut. Do it like they do on the cooking shows. Have one I could do a gumbo ready. video. Have one already ready, and then just do all the preparation. Right, I could do that. And then give me one of them. What's that strategy? <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Tree cheese. What's he got? All right, so, so right here. You got there all you. That's going in your marinade, right? Oh yeah, marinade. Yeah, it's going in the meat. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot to throw this in there. Hence, hence the pepper meat. All right, we're looking good. All we're right, very close. We're, around, we're close to Touch wrapping that, up the food. It's, it's, it's good. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yep. <clears throat> all right. So all of this, y'all, to make this duca spice, you have to let it cool off totally. Otherwise, you may get a duca paste. You don't want that. 
We've all washed our hands. <laughs> Maybe. I did. Hey, we do need to get it going eating because it. you're at a minute. You're at an hour and twenty minutes, and something's yeah. going to cut off soon if you don't. All right. So. Oh, well, that's definitely going to. If that cut cuts off, off do you need to. So Which um. Wait, Wendy, if this cuts off, I'm going to take this phone off and put this one on. It'll be a little jerkiness, but I want to have okay. the same shot. It's a pit boss. Yeah. Thanks, Pat. It's a pit boss. Okay, we'll go over here. Wait, what? It's a pellet smoker. And of course we got our barrel houses. And our Weber. And then our Blackstone flat top. Yeah, the pellet is a pit boss. Where's my measuring spoons at? What did he put in the meat that was chopped? Oh, that was two small um, jalapenos. Right, with the seeds. With the seeds, you, it's that's right, that's so what brings the hide. It's just gonna sit in there. <clears throat> We're gonna mix some uh, some other seasonings in there, and then that sits for a little a little bit. So it's two cook spoons of oil. That, a cook is spoon spoon? is like a cooking spoon, so that would be about four tablespoons. One if of it, them? Two cook spoons would be about four tablespoons. A cook spoon, you know those big metal spoons you I cook with. Plenty. Fuck yeah, it's plenty. I gotta add the peanut butter. Right, so peanut butter. Peanut butter jelly time. We need two, four tablespoons. Just yeah, I what I, I eat late at night. Actually, out of the jar. I reversed. I mean, I, I did change that to 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 state that I meant to do that for the oil as well. Peanut butter, one of the chopped ingredients. That's right. Going in the street. Pepper meat, pepper street meat. <laughs> One more. <clears throat> he has on gloves, Vanessa. Vanessa said, "Don't touch your eyes." <laughs> After the jalapenos. Looking pretty good now. Pretty good. Right? It smells good. It smells good, buddy. We're getting close. Yeah. Then check the um the vegetable. I mean, uh, yeah, the veggies. Vegetables are good. And then. How are you gonna cook? And then grind up that uh the duca. Are right, we gonna let that sit? Dude, I gotta throw a ton of these gloves. Yeah. That's why we gotta come We're about up to with come our... out with our own beast gloves. We have beast gloves. <sighs> I'm not gonna say that all the time. We're about to come out with it. Right. Um, I'm surprised they don't have this like marinating in anything. Nope, it's going on a grill. Do the duca. Yeah. All right, where's the recipe for the duca? This is how complicated this is. Look how all you gotta do is pulse it and grind it. You've already got oh, the stuff done. Right. So I wonder. Where's the one canister? Where's that small one? I think all that's going to fit in here. Um, yep. Are we using that ninja? <laughs> this is not It is going to fit in there. I know, but I need something else to do. Oh. <clears throat> so all of this, these roasted nuts and cardamom and cumin, I believe. Sesame seeds. You let them cool after you roast them, and then they go into Yeah, if you don't the, let them cool, they'll turn to paste. Yeah. Get that what's on there. Don't waste. Yes, Dennis is going to make a mess. You are correct. Birds are getting See it? See the matter right here? That's for the birds. Bird, bird. That's for the birds. <laughs> right. Um, and some oil, something's supposed to go in here. I don't think so. It's just it's a rub, like paste. I mean, right. it's a rub. 
but if it became a paste, it would still be good. It depends on what you use it on. Ben said he's already messed that up. What? He said he said dump it on the paper and fold it in half and dump it in. <laughs> <laughs> Look, y'all gonna have to tell us these things ahead of time. You're right. Too Jeff little, Knapp late. said if you need an extra hand, he's available. Who? Jeff Knapp. <laughs> what are you shaking that up for? Alright, we're about to haul it into our And y'all, this stuff you can put in like an air tight container. Put an air tight container, put it in your fridge, and save it six months if you want. Kathy Darrell, Darrell Rooks would like a flexible cutting board from these. From the release. Hey, Kip. Not a wood cutting board. Kip Chandler is just coming on. You're lucky we're running late. We're, not <laughs> we're late. still here. We're an hour <laughs> we're and a half. Here. It's a big. We never project. put a time limit. All right. Ah, uh, Jennifer Bates said small batches. Dave, doing small batches. You don't have that problem. Yeah, I was actually thinking. Oh, that. so Rick, what I was saying was this um this Duca spice. You can seal it up in an air tight container and keep it in your fridge and for up to six months. So you can, uh, whatever you, if you make it, you can use it on all kinds of things, really. Oh, so, this is actually a good example of how it will clump up. Oh, uh, right. So, like, that's still warm? Yeah, take that out. I didn't think it was, anything was warm. Right. See what happens if it's so too still warm, warm still, it, it'll clump. But that's so. still, it's, it actually still works. This goes into here, right? No, that goes on the vegetables. Oh. When they're done? Yeah, so check them when they're when they're close to done. You put the garbanzo beans on top, then sprinkle that on it, then grill them another twenty minutes. Okay. So we could be making our announcements while you're doing that. Actually, check them; they might be ready to ready to get that going. Ah, that's looking good. Yeah. Cause they're gonna be in here another twenty minutes, so you probably. Do Kathy, I knew what you meant. What? To pour your spices. Paper. That was a great idea. I didn't think of it. Alright, so, Gamanza beans. <clears throat> oh, you gotta drain them. Grab a, That is good. What? The duca. Wow. Isn't that good? Alright, get your duca. Because that goes on in this. And then. I need to put this on first. No, no. And then this. Yeah, I'm going to have to break that up because it's supposed to be. Yeah, you could just use your hands. Some of it got a little bit pasty because I guess we didn't let it cool. Long yeah, it needed to be cool a little bit more. But also, if you over process it, it'll do the same thing. So either one will make it clump. But for, for this purpose, it's gonna be good. Yeah, it smells really good. It tastes good. It tastes good.
countdown. Jeff, same drink. Vodka and grapefruit. That's our Sunday morning feast with the beast official drink. It's good for you. <clears throat> and it's got Actually, grapefruit, so it burns fat. I put the modified version. There's still a little bit of it in there, so you can add it to yours since I'm not Yeah, stopping. she fixed it. Well, at least I'm learning. <laughs> I stirred something <clears throat> and I made a drink. Right? This is what I like to let women to say. <laughs> oh, God. So, at least you didn't go, <laughs> this sucks. And spit it out. Uh, Chaz wants to know if I allow you in the kitchen because he'd hate to see the floor. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's why I do all my cooking out here. He does, I don't all, even he cook does in the everything house. outside. <clears throat> I cook in the house. He cooks outside the house. That's I do not cook in the house. I do not like cooking in the house. All right, so we are ready. Skewering it up. These will only be on what, ten or fifteen minutes. Something. But, and then while so we're doing that, we need we to make sure make you our... have your handy dandy. <laughs> your handy dandy beef potatoes. Right. Yep. It was a little bit long. Huh? That's what she said. Hmm. I never heard those words. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway. You notice the beast impellers don't split your vegetables. Your vegetables. <laughs> your vegetables. <laughs> Stark is like too much art, TMI. What? <laughs> TMI, too much information for Starky. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Look, we don't start it half the time. Uh, yes. Uh, grab me a cookie sheet. Tyler, can you go grab a cookie sheet? Uh, one of the big ones. I guess it doesn't matter. I can just lay it I'm here. in for now. Yeah, it's going on the ground. <coughs> As we right. all learned from Gavin Job. <laughs> If it's going on the grill, it's all right. It's all right. Gets burned off. And that's true. It is true. Adam wants us to sing him a jingle. It's too quiet. <laughs> yep, that's fine. No, we know Adam. The birds aren't actually aren't chirping today. I just heard one. Yeah. Not, yeah, but not like usual. They're usually like all up. Yeah, I hear one now. Now you hear them. Yeah. They're like, what do you mean? What do you mean we're not chirping? Them? We're right here. <clears throat> What's the passcode to this? All right. 625. What's the problem? Nothing. <laughs> Don't you like how we're in sync? That means something. No. Uh, Nothing you need to worry about. Keep cooking. Vanessa Reed said shrimp and corn would be good. To, Add to this? two with that meat mix, yeah. It would be. Yeah. Ah, Kip Chandler, how's your mom and them? My mom and them are great. <laughs> the funny thing about New Orleans is your mom and them could be like your mom and your brother, or it could be like your mom, your brother, your cousin, your aunt. <laughs> it could be like your mom and one person, or your mom and a hundred people. But everybody knows who you're talking about. Kip, how's your mom and them? <laughs> You doing one more? I'm doing one more so four. we can get them on. All right. Just think about getting them on the grill. I don't know. We're getting close. Well, I know two people who's not going to get off the feed, and that's going to be Chad and Todd. So we got them captives. We have two people. Sorry it's taking so long, y'all. Yeah, but actually, this is it. Once we get this. It's only going to take a minute for these to cook. Yeah, well, 10 minutes, but. Plate this shit up. 
That's what we need, a, a plate. Hey, Tyler, can you go get that platter off the um, bar? You know that long platter with the vegetables on it? Oh, you got one out? No, but she knows where it's at, right? There's some platters in there. Platters. Like, there's one that's kind of got, like, vegetables looking on it. It's kind of long. It's, like, oblong. Making grocery swagman style. Kip knows all about Almost. it. Almost. Yep. Ow! Sorry, Starkey. We're killing him. He's missing happy hour right now. This is happy hour. Right. We thought this was happy hour and a half. <laughs> Half hour and a half going on, half hour and 40 minutes by the time we're done. I doubt this is it, but is this it? No. It, it's Starkey, we, we're going to buy you a drink. On the shelves. On the shelves? Yes. What's Kip drinking? No, uh, that Starkey missing happy hour told him we'll oh. buy him a drink. It's on the shelf for all the time. All right, whatever all that noise is, got to get turned down. We're watching the movie. We're watching the movie. Yeah, it's on the... um. On the shelves. Yeah, she doesn't know where all that's to this. Alright. Alright, let's do we these are, three and we'll do the other ones after. I gotta hold my glove. You'd be alright. Alright. Ah, Captain Kangaroo. Aw. Captain, Captain Kangaroo. He was thinking more of Captain Kangaroo. Todd Kern is two beers in. <laughs> alright, we are close. Good job. And we're close. <laughs> It's the best hour or two of the day, Rich Newland said. Thank <laughs> yeah, you. Uh oh, come hour. here. I did something. Hurry up. I lost my. Oh, never mind. It's back. All right. When he's about to lose something. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to lose something if this thing runs out of battery. So you better get a Is move it, on. What's the battery on? I don't know. I don't want to touch anything because every time I do, it turns off. Now I'm gonna hurry. Right. Alright, I'm almost done, guys. Getting very close. Alright. We're winding down. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. This is the last thing on y'all, food-wise. <laughs> Phil Gabo had to plug his phone in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Tyler, you don't have your phone, right? No. Kathy, we have to check it out after because um, I think everybody's phones are occupied. Mm -hmm. What? She said to check out what she just posted a pic of what she's cooking today. Check. Is it on Facebook? It's on, yeah, it's on the VIP page, I'm thinking. Oh, <laughs> Yes. Please throw this again. No. That's coming along nice. Oh, I'm good. Hot. Hot. But cooking. All right, do we want to clear off and announce while those are cooking, or are you going to plate up and announce? I'm going to plate up. All right. Y'all got about five more minutes. Why don't you All clear right. off some of that stuff so when you... That was hot. Hot. I just tried like to brush Temperature. Spray. Right, temperature hot. So, um, do I want to announce it now? You have time, but it's kind of like the big finale as oh, well. Right. So y'all just hang with us for about <clears throat> ten minutes. About, what question you got? I don't know. Give us some questions, y'all, so we can so we can eat up ten minutes before these um, skewers come off and we can announce. Right. Oh, Tyler's, Tyler's wanting to make a petition for the sweatshirt. <laughs> she is launching a petition. <laughs> Anybody who wants to sign, sign Tyler's petition, <laughs> we're going to send it to you. Starkey's dying from suspense. I'm going to go ahead and check this out. 
Because these smell good. Um. Let's have those of indirect medium heat. No. Oh, you, you, I'm just going to say Okay, gotcha. I don't know what I'm doing. I know you know what you're doing. All right, Jennifer. Jennifer will be back in five minutes. All right, look. That's just going to cook for a minute. All right, so what can we talk about while we're waiting on this stuff to, uh, to do? Um, Nobody in Nashville next weekend will host us. Right. Nobody within 30 minutes of Nashville. So we're actually going to come out with some uh, spices and marinades and hopefully sauces. Oh, Andrew Knox said uh, they need extra large tall shirts for tall guys. I never thought about that. Right. We still need to get the four and five X, too. So we are. Oh, here you go. Chaz and Wick Grill Beast items are coming out. Yeah. So um. <laughs> I can't. So when we do our spices and our marinades, we're going to run a contest on helping to name those. Okay, because uh, we want to be creative, <clears throat> and we have a lot of competition with spices and marinades. So, and part of it is the names. Um, and I don't want to name everybody's. I know that's good. Um, but um, we think our stuff is going to be better than theirs. And we actually liked our seasonings too. Like Meat Church, um, um, Code 3 Spice, they all got good spices. But uh, we're about to kick ass. So. All right. So you get a little char on them, right? We're gonna let that go a minute. <clears throat> then we're gonna take it a little bit indirect and then we'll be plating up. So um, these are the these are the items that we have coming out this year. We have <clears throat> a beer can chicken um, cooker, and it's also gonna double as uh, like a pan you can do vegetables and shit in, right? Uh, we have a meat hook. We have a uh, meat fork, you know, one with the long fork that you can kind of flip your meat with. The meat hook you can flip your meat with. Those are actually the first ones coming out. Um, I actually have the um, prototype in my office right now. I don't want to show everybody because then people are going to want to buy it. We don't have it ready yet. Uh, we also have uh, uh, um, a basting brush, right? So. Uh, we were trying to do. Oh, uh, you got a bottle opener? Oh, yep. does he? What? The bottle opener. Right, so. <laughs> I'm supposed to be basting this. I'm going to baste it when it's. So, real quick while you're right. basting, um, so when really, is the cutting board coming out and how are you doing with the interchanging on mop heads? So yeah, that's so the that's, the, that's the problem is we were working on the interchangeable heads and it just wouldn't work out. So anybody who has bought a set of these, we're gonna give, um, give away free the, uh, the base to brush, which is gonna be very similar to this. It's just gonna have a different head on it. But doing this interchangeable head just did not work. I thought they were, but they just wouldn't work. That's why it's taken so long. We um, tried and failed. Huh? Good beer. No, I know I'm going to do that when it's when indirect. So Mark Harbinson is the rook, is the hook going to be right-handed or left-handed? Ambidextrous. <laughs> Ooh, that's a word. That's yeah. a fancy word, huh? Okay, so we do want to mop this with some beer. Beer's making it stick together. All right, so I actually have this to where 
some of this is over the heat um, because it just wasn't getting good heat on that side. Don't and let that sit for a minute. Don't close it. Okay, See, what else do we have coming out? Yeah, it does smell awesome. So we do have wood cut boards. I do not have a date for that. So if you have the mop, Rick, yes, you will get the baster for yeah, free. Yeah, you're going to get the baster for free, which is, which is going to basically look uh, very similar to the tongs, right? It's going to be similar to this, but it's going to have a different head on it, okay? So uh, because the basin brush just wouldn't work right with that big of a handle either. So we're going to make it a little bit smaller handle, kind of like this. Read John's whole question for me. And then, uh, so anyway, we're working on that now. Yeah. We really wanted to have the interchangeable heads, but it just would not work. Because the problem is... So John Salazar said if he got a set for Christmas, will he still be able to get the brush? Yes. yes. Yep. If you own them by the time we have it, no matter if you buy them right now, we'll still give you one free. Uh, because we know people anticipated being able to have an interchangeable head. But the problem is, is because we have a square handle, and when you screw stuff on, if it doesn't line up right, it's, it looks funky, right? So even though some people wouldn't mind that, we know a lot of people would. It would bother me. So we just decided to just go ahead and do a whole new tool for everything. Um, but like I said, I'm going to take care of everybody. Make sure you get what you, what you wanted, right? These are looking beautiful. We'll mop some more. Mop the other side. So like a mop like this comes in handy. Just stuff like this. Chaz and Vanessa, we've tried all kinds of things. It's just not working out with the heads. Yeah, like I said, it's because it has a square handle. Chaz so said lock nut, Vanessa said clip on, but you know what? we but believe when you, me. When, hold on, when you have that many moving parts, you're going to have more problems because one, you're going to have a certain group of people, they're not going to want to mess with all that shit, right? Uh, they would just want to screw it on and it'd be right. So, um, thank you, Eric. Because I know Star, Starsky. Star Starkey. Star not, he keeps going back to the Star Skin Hutch. Right, Star Skin Hutch. Can I get that out of his head? Starkey. Right, so he had some great ideas too, but it, the more moving parts that you have, the more problems you have. So we want to have zero moving parts. Um, it's just the way it is. So Eric Stamper said he's never seen a company that cares about their customers as much as we do, from Place and Skewers to Nata Brush. Loves us. Thank you very much, man. A lot of people saying awesome. Yeah, go to skew it. Let me take these over to the side here. This one needs a little bit more over there. Let's organize. Because it's going to have to sit in indirect heat for a minute. Just to make sure everything's cooked. How's it look, everybody? <laughs> Starkey said, no, no hutch there. Just Starkey. <laughs> Starkey, believe it or not, Starsky. I was in love with Dave Starsky and Starsky and Hutch when I was 10 years old. Which is but why that's... she fell in love with me. She right. Yeah, he Dave. looks just like Dave Starsky, right? <laughs> you don't quite have the hairy head. And you bought a red and white car. Anybody who watched Starsky and Hutch, though, do y'all remember Huggy Bear? I'm going to go way back. I don't have that kind of memory. You didn't watch Starsky and Hutch, then? Yeah, I did. You don't remember Huggy Bear? I Come on, now. <laughs> <laughs> That's my problem. Because I don't care. All right, so let me close this up a minute. <laughs> Rick Beck, that's enough. Todd and Chad are drunk by now. All <laughs> oh, right. Waiting. Oh, here, this is you. That's me. Thank you. All right, we are. I know I keep saying this. We are so close. We actually are now. That's so far away. Right, so close but so far away. <laughs> See, Kip Chandler knows who Huggy Bear was. So Kathy wants to know if Chuck is tough on the grill. Well, we're about to find out. Thank you, Vanessa. <laughs> right. <laughs> 
I've never done chuck as uh, on a skewers before, so um, I'm yeah, hoping it's yeah. not tough. Did I before? Well, so. if you keep it over medium heat, like we we charred it, but then you move it to medium and let it cook at a lower temperature. Yeah, maybe I should have done it the other way around, but I think it's going to be good either way. For small pieces. Yeah. Where's my plate? Right here. Well, it was right there. What happened to the platter? Oh. Were we almost done? Almost. Yes, almost. So I can start putting uh, vegetables on there? No, yeah. actually we should get the skewers. Skewers and, uh, yeah. Just do two of them. Now and then, Tyler, get off it. <laughs> All right, Vanna White. All right, that's right. Dennis Alda said, "Here it comes, get it right." All right, let's see. We're gonna plate it up, and we're gonna try it. And then we're gonna make our announcement. <laughs> All right, go away. Put the tape. <laughs> put the countdown clock on, Pat. What's? How, what do you want to put it on? No, put we had. Put something under that. Oh. We something had the. Um... Do you have a big spoon? Let me go here. Yeah, go grab a big spoon. Right here. Wait, I I ate off of that. Ew. Alright, go get us some, uh, some forks. Yeah, I need some utensils. Okay, I'll get me a fork. No, I'm going to And here comes the plating. One thing, it freaking smells really good. Uh, it really wow. does. Rick, back if you like curry, well, you will love this rice right here. I don't know how that looks. We're all going to be using chopsticks today. No, no. You get some, <laughs> no go get some, get some skewers. Forks and shit. Being silly kid. <laughs> Actually, get a spoon. You want a spoon for the um, vegetables? Yeah, your nay. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, get out of it, girl. <laughs> Beat her. Not Beat that kid. Ooh. Where are you putting it? Don't put it on the wood. Don't put it on the wood. Now, whoever complained about David's plating, you might have to take it back. Can I like show it off? That smells good. <laughs> I know. Y'all, if, if it, really it looks good. Really the good. smell, I'm gonna come around on the other side. The smell is what is right. incredible. And you see that steam <laughs> coming off of it? That's all smell. All right, let Ace take out, a right. picture before we all, all right, start like right charming. Like, no, I'd really I like my phone to take pictures. Not the moment of his heat. You want my phone? No, I want my phone kit off oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Man, I cannot believe this one lasted this long. And we still have... We need a trivet that looks like shit. a beast grill grate, is what Mark Carbon said. I think somebody else said that, too. A what? Uh, a trivet that looks like a beast grill grate. What the hell's a trivet? <laughs> Explain what a trivet is to David. They are the best gloves. Okay. Beautiful plating, Kathy said. Thank you. Finally got a compliment on it. Uh, Todd Kern's gonna try the rice and the veggies. All right, so this was so hard because um, both of these guys are really awesome. They contribute a ton to the group, and they put a lot out there. Not only um, it costs a lot of money to put all this. Oh, together. to put the hot skillet on. It's a little no, like no, to put the hot skillet on a trivet. Oh. Yeah, it just reminded me of something. Oh, right. Yeah, hold on. Sprinkle it with red pepper for added. No, you're doing it to be mean to me. 
There you go. So, um, the winner is Todd Kern. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I can't Todd clap. Kern I got the camera. Out the freaking park again. Truly, you both did. But Todd was just up just a little bit. Um, it's really, um, it was a tough decision. But um, that's it. So, Todd, you're the winner. Of a barrel house cooker. A brand new barrel, a brand house, new cooker. barrel house cooker. We think you probably spent more in your ingredients than that barrel house That's cooker, right. but don't need it. So it's all for fun. Yeah, um, I saw the bill from just this. It was like one hundred forty-seven dollars, not counting the vodka. So, um, <laughs> so I know how off of all the meals that y'all cooked, you could have bought one. So obviously, it was not about you know getting something for free. So anyway, Todd. we are going to do this again in a few weeks. We're going to start another one. Obviously, Todd cannot be in it. Chad is welcome to play in the next round. Um, so we want to try to get even more people involved next time. It was so fun. It really was a lot for of fun. For us and for them. We had a, yeah. And I know for you guys, it was a ton of work. You know? And to so, tell them what we're going to do, we're going to have like three or four, and then what we're going to do with the winners of the three or four. Oh. So anybody so who competed can thinking. still compete. The winners cannot compete in any more rounds. Yeah, so the winners cannot compete. After we do three or four of these, what we're going to do, we're going to have a weekend um, get-together. And we're going to have a, uh, a, a final roundup, like they do on CHOP, whatever they call that, the finale or yeah, whatever that's called. And so that would be the, the four winners, three or four winners, they will compete. And then, but we're also going to have a weekend where we're all get away and, and hang out together and have some fun. Cool. Yeah. So that'd be a bonus. And we will have Todd's winning video up. At what point? When? We're where? Gonna put, so we're going to put this video on the website uh, today. Okay. And tomorrow. Uh, and tomorrow. chopped in two pieces again. All right. Um, so it's in two pieces. So um, it's going to be tomorrow. Um, and then we'll put. We're actually going to post. Todd's video on, in the group and on the page today. Okay, but then it'll go. be on the website later in the week. That way everybody can see it. Pat right? said it's the champions round. Right, the champions round. So we'll have a champions round, but so in probably two or three weeks we're going to start another chop challenge. Yeah, so, so if you're any... interested in the next chop challenge, let us know and we'll let you know when it starts. Yep. Alright, now I'm going to taste this. And unless you won one, you can be in it again. Everybody can be in it. That is good. It is good. That looks really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Tala's waiting with a fork. Cool. Is it tender or could it's should have cooked? Tender. Probably should have cooked over medium a little longer, maybe. But it is really good. So. Sorry, my Usually I use my shirt. <laughs> it's very dull. Thanks. Yeah, so this could be a little bit more tender, but it's still really good. So maybe instead of putting, just cook it over medium for a while, but let it cook a little more slow. Kind of like you would uh, stew meat. Yep. All right. Cool. Tyler, get off what you eat yourself. <laughs> She's all up in the camera just eating. All right. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks for yeah. sticking it out. I think it's been an hour and a half or so. Congratulations, Todd. I think it's our last one. Or, Congratulations, or... Chad, too, on a great turn in. Um. See you next weekend. Yeah. Episode 19. Episode 19. Peace. Hopefully from Nashville. That's right. <laughs>